Hello? Hey, I'm shooting a video right now. Wildcat Entertainment, man. Thank you guys for coming back. Saint Chili. Add me on Instagram. Add me on all the social media channels, man. We're going into the top players in NBA 2K18 by position. The 2K just had, you know, they just let these little, um, you can see that. They just let, you know, the top 10 rankings of each position out recently. So I just wanted to react, let you guys know what's going on with this NBA 2K stuff. Remember, add me, subscribe to this channel, and make sure you add me, Saint Chili, S-A-I-N-T-C-H-I-L-I. -I. Add me on the PS4. I'm trying, I need a five, man. I need a strong five so we can go and wreck 2K18 when it comes out. I'm a problem. I got my boy, he's a problem. We just need, we need like three more people, man, so we can really set it off. But first, we're going into the top 10 point guards. Obviously, you know who's number one. That's Curry, right? And we talk about Russell Westbrook. It makes sense because actually, if you look at it, they're both 94 overall. So Russell just gets the nod for some reason. Not sure why. I mean, he is the MVP this year. So that that could be what it is, but you know, 94 makes sense. I mean, the guy does everything. And then you got Curry, 94. I mean, I'm not the biggest Curry fan, but he could shoot the lights out. So I'm not getting into that right now. But then you got Chris Paul, 91. Okay, that makes sense. You know, he's fading. I think a little bit. He's getting a little bit older. Kyrie Irving at 90. That may be right. We'll see if he stays on the Celtics with what he really is. Um, you got John Water, 90. I could give him 90 because he could pass. He's fast. He plays a little bit of defense. You know, he can't really shoot, but he could. He he play. You know, he gets a lot of steals. So all those things are gonna factor into his overall being a little bit higher. You got Isaiah Thomas, 89. Okay, I mean he could score with the best of them. Lillard, deep range, score with the best of them. Kyle Lowry. Michael Conley, I mean, he's like an all-around point guard, man. Don't get no love, really. But he's 87. I mean, you know, that's about it. And Campbell Walker. So let me know if you guys, like, agree with this top 10 or if you think somebody's missing. I'm trying to think right now. And other than Lonzo Ball, just playing, just playing. He hasn't proved himself yet. But by the end of this year, he will be on this top 10 list. I guarantee it. Triple B's up in here, man. Big baller brand. All right. The best coach ever. That's how I describe myself. Ever. The best coach ever. So, let's get into the top 10 shooting guards. Obviously, I mean, that's easy enough, right? That's easy enough. We're talking about James Harden is going to be at the top, right? Easy. And then after that, I feel like the shooting guards kind of fall off. I mean, who's the second best shooting guard? Um, I can't really think. Obviously, Dwayne Wade's way, you know, past his prime. But they got Jimmy Butler at a 90. And I said it in my other video, Jimmy Butler a 90. Somebody kind of disagreed with me. And they were like, man, Jimmy Butler, you know, blah, blah. I mean, he does play defense. He could score, kind of. I mean... A 90 though, I don't think, I think James Harden is much better than him, I don't know. And Klay Thompson at a 90, I kinda don't agree because if you're the fourth option on your team, there's no way you're a 90. I mean, he, he's not even, he's a knockdown shooter and he's a lockdown defender, but he can't really handle the rock like that. He's not a passer like that. So I guess the defensive ability along with his shooting ability, you know, puts him at a 90. But do I think he's better than some of the guys, uh, you know, behind him? Not necessarily. I think he is a product of his environment because he could shoot. But, I mean, he's done some ridiculous things in his career so far. So you can't really knock him. Uh, DeMar DeRozan, 89. I feel like he does more for his team than Clay does. But, you know, he's 89. Bradley Beal's 87. Always hurt. CJ McCollum. He's going to move up on this list, I think. They got him at 86, and he gets buckets. I mean, Devin Booker's already 85. He did have a crazy game. He's got the hype around him, so I see that. Avery Bradley got a little, a little bump, 83. Dwayne Wade, 82. And Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton at 81. I mean, I don't know. Chris Middleton? I guess the shooting guards really are kind of weak. Um, but... Hello? 
Hey, I'm shooting a video right now. Back to this video. So, where were we at? Chris Middleton, uh, and then they also got like 2K16s. 2K16s top 10 shooting guards. So you had James Harden a 92. Klay Thompson was a 87. Jimmy Butler was a 86. So, Jimmy Butler always kind of been highly rated. Uh, that's a big difference though. Victor Oladipo used to be up here. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a big... I mean, Victor Oladipo, is he better than Chris Middleton? Mm, uh, I think so. I, don't, I think so. Let's get into the small forwards. I've seen some some news going around with the small forwards where Rudy Gay was pissed off talking about this is BS because he was left off the top 10. So let's see exactly what he's talking about. Obviously, the king is still the best player. I mean, he does everything, so he's a 97. And then you got Kevin Durant, 96. All right, man, Leonard. I feel a certain way about Leonard. He is great. But a 95, like, he plays defense, he got some offense, but a 95, it's, it's got to be like the ratings. I, don't, I just don't think he is valuable to his team, but I don't feel that he's like a 95. That's just, that's like, you're talking about all-time great, and he's a 95? I don't know. But then under him, you got Paul George, okay, he, you know, 91. The Greek Freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo, whatever. The Greek Freak, they got him at 91, okay? That's, I mean, like I said, when you, when you factor in blocks, rebounds, all these different things, yeah, he can get that stuff done. Gordon Hayward, 88. Andrew Wiggins, 86. Carmelo Anthony, 84. I seen a couple people, they were mad about that. I mean, he was with the Knicks last year, and he didn't really do nothing. So, 84 is about right. I mean, it could get, you know, maybe he gets traded to the Rockets, and he starts balling, and he can boost it up. Like I, like everybody knows, these, these things don't last but a week or two. Players get hot, boom, ratings go up. Harrison Barnes. Harrison Barnes is the top nine? I see why you mad, Rudy Gay. I see why you mad. You had a, an injured year. But to put... Player like Harrison Barnes over you when you've been getting 20 and 10 for years. It's kind of disrespectful. A lot of people don't show Rudy Gay his respect. I see what he's talking about. Guarantee you within the first month, as long as he stays healthy, he's going to be on the Spurs now. He's going to get buckets. So that is going to boost his rating. So there's no way he's not top 10 small forwards. But I guess that's what happens when you injure. Let's get into the power forwards. Obviously, just depends on where they list everybody. Anthony Davis, 94, obviously. Uh, Draymond Green, I hate him, but he can ball, and he is a rough rider. But he just talks so much trash. Man, I hate that he talks so much trash, and then went and got KD to be on his team when KD was killing him. Dang. All right, Blake Griffin, 87, he's falling off. Kevin Love, 87, uh, I mean, he could be lowered for, for all I care. Paul Millsap, 87. Przingis, man. Christos Przingis, 86. He's going to boost up. Everybody else on there, I mean, Dirk is an 80. Zach is an 80. Oh, man, it's really not that many players that's highly rated, it seems like. Let's get to the last position is the center. Center, man, we got DeMarcus Cousins at the top at 92. I mean, when, you could, when you're a center, you could do anything on the court. Pro obviously, you're going to be highly rated, and that's why the cat, Carl Anthony Towns, man, that's my boy. That's why he's a problem in this game. He's going to be 91 overall to start. Probably going to go up. Um, Marcus Saul, 89. Okay. Uh, the centers, I kind of have, there's, you know, for the big men to be dinosaurs nowadays, they kind of got a couple high rated centers. I mean, Marcus Saul is 89. Nikola Jokic, I don't even know if you guys know who that is. I mean, he's on the Nuggets. Uh, he's getting, he is putting up numbers, though. Um, Rudy Gobert, 88, because defensively he's a problem. Hassan Whiteside, all around. DeAndre Jordan, 87. That's DeAndre Jordan, oh, man. Joel Embiid, man, 86. If he's healthy this year and plays all the games, we're looking at top top five right there, Joel Embiid. Andre Drummond, I mean, defensively, rebounding, blocking shots. Offensively, he's a liability because he can't do nothing but dunk. So, still, he's a good player. And Miles Turner, young, baller. But those are the top 10 players of each position. What I think about it. Let me know if you would, like, which, 
which ones you disagree or who you want to add to the position. I think Rudy Gay for sure for the small forwards needs to be in the top 10. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I can't think of any other other players that are missing out of these lists. I mean, the point guard seems right to me. Everything else seems right to me. Some ratings are a little off, but all oh, that's going to change. Uh, but thank you guys for checking this video out, man. NBA 2K18, subscribe to my channel, guys. Please support the channel and also add me on PS4. That is Saint Chili. Add me. Everybody take it easy.